wonderful people. Thank you all so much for joining me for another video. I truly appreciate your support here, not just for myself, but for other survivors. I see many of you um, responding to comments and sharing your wisdom and encouragement. And I think that that is a beautiful thing. So if you are a new subscriber here, please know that this is a loving space. And there are so many people who are sharing their experiences and don't feel afraid to um, comment um, or ask questions because there are so many people in this community who have experienced nar narcissistic abuse and they can answer your questions just as well as I could. So with that, I would like to answer a subscriber's question. Um, this was posted by Mrs. H. And Mrs. H would like to know if there is really no hope for the narcissist that she's with. She says, I have a whole life and family with this person. And I um, asked a follow-up question um, to see how many children were involved um, in this family that she shares with the narcissist. And there are three children um, and one on the way. So she will have four children with the narcissist. Um, the other children are uh, middle school and elementary age. Here is my response for the hope part. There, there really is hope, but the hope is not with that person, unfortunately. Um, if this person is really a narcissist, then the children are suffering. And for that reason alone, there needs to be a, an escape plan um, that you create to safely remove yourself and your children from that home. Now, I don't know how this narcissist behaves, but what I do know is that all narcissists are damaging for everyone who lives with them psychologically and sometimes physically so i'm assuming that this person is definitely causing psychological damage to the children trauma that will take them quite a while to move past as many of us are adults who have experienced trauma. Children are not resilient. Although people say that children are not resilient because we are adults who went through trauma as children and now here we are suffering from more abuse. That's not what you want for your kids. You want to give them a fighting chance. So how do you escape? How? What do you do? How do you leave? I mean, this is your entire life. You have a home. You have, you know, assets and investments and, you know, all kinds of things that are tied up. Your entire life is tied up with this person. So what do you do? It's not an easy task. You can't just get up and walk away. It doesn't work like that. And Mrs. H is pregnant. Some of you all are you know pregnant and you're thinking what are I where do I go and what do I do how can I take several children and be a pregnant woman and leave this person that's just not realistic it doesn't it can't happen that way so what you need to do is continue watching narcissistic abuse videos and finding out how you can Live with this person for the, t the period of time that you need to until you come up with a plan that is wise enough where you can escape where you and your children and yourself will be safe during that escape. I don't suggest just saying, oh, you're a narcissist and fighting and then trying to leave. It, it will backfire on you. These people play dirty. Because what you'll do is you'll try to be honest about everything, but they will not. They are dirty, dirty creatures. The YWCA for women, um, and men, I'm sorry, I don't know of a place, but I will try and look into that. 
um, because I think that men need a place too because the, the, the women can get them into a lot more trouble. Um, but the YWCA for women who want to leave their situation, they will help you step by step. Um, maybe start talking to a relative or someone that you can trust to help come up with a plan. Most importantly, document this person's behaviors as much as possible. This, these things are going to help you in court. Because like I said, they are going to fight dirty with lies. Sometimes they even bring other people on board whom you've never met before who are willing to lie for them. Um, so you want to make sure you document everything that's happening. If you're taking the kids to therapy, document that. Um, and use wisdom in every step you take. Find an attorney who is exper who has experience with dealing with um, narcissistic abuse in court. Um, that's going to be in your best interest. But again, make sure you have somebody, at least one person. That That's not always possible, but at least one person. And that's why I suggested the YWCA, because they could be that one person for you who can help you through every single step to get out safely and um, to establish um, some type of normalcy for you and your children. So that is my response in short for um, your question, Mrs. H. Um, I will be, I will keep you in my prayers and I plan on um, responding to a question that many people have and is that can the narcissist change and that is the video i plan to post on sunday of course with the use of scripture as to if and or when or is it possible for them to change it all um so i wish you the very best I hope that you will find help. If you have any questions about resources, I don't know the extent of the situation, um, but if any of you have questions for resources because the situation is so terrible that you can't imagine staying for another minute to even come up with a plan, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, just say no to narcs at gmail.com and I will make sure if I don't have the answer, I will find the answer for you. I, I, it, it is important that your children become a priority in the exit plan and in this situation. God bless you all. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on Sunday. Goodbye.